Now, I'm not saying that I'm the only one in the country. I just don't know where the next one is. If you find yourself driving down 1A in Holden by South Road, you'll find Lou Tardiff, also known as the golf ball guy. I have five daughters. Sometimes they won't even call me dad. They'll say, hi, golf ball guy. Tardiff has been selling golf balls on roadsides for over 20 years. He spent his teenage years caddying and selling balls he found to his neighbors. And as he entered his 50s, that entrepreneurial mindset kicked in again. I went over to the courses in the area and did just what I did when I was 13. I went and found a lot of golf balls, sold them off the car then. Now at age 75, Tardiff has people, but he still bags the balls up and parks himself here at Freshies every single day. But the sheer irony, Tardiff has never played golf. And I took a look at fishing and golf, and I decided that I would prefer to go fishing than to play golf. I've never heard anybody hit a golf ball and say that golf ball was so good with my fiddleheads. Even so, the interactions he has with golfers are what keep him coming back. They're good people. I mean, they have to be fair and they have to be play by the rules. And that's the kind of people I like to deal with. And Tardiff never knows who he's going to meet. For example, a chance meeting with an author inspired him to write a story about a street vendor. That story was called Fair Extension. The author, Stephen King. He said, where'd you get the golf balls? When do you get them? Yeah, just give me a little quick interview, and you know, and that's how he got a lot of the stuff he put in the afterword. And I'm still hoping that I can find Stephen King, see if I can get an autograph out of him. I didn't get any royalties. <laughs> what an adventure this guy has been on. And right now, he sees no end. If I can be, I will be here. I can get up in the morning, I, I got something to do. I don't have to go sit down on the recliner and just uh, watch TV.